In this video, we're going to focus on the how to render functions in the Charge.js plugins. So this is part eight of the Charge.js plugin labels. And with the functions, basically with the functions is, as I indicated before, we could render functions. And with the functions, we could basically combine certain values. For example, we want to have not only Monday, but we want to have the value or number 18 as well in here. We can combine them together. So let's start to explore how to do this. So if we scroll down here, and this is very useful, the functions are applicable not only to render, but they could be applied to almost the font size, the font colors, etc., etc. So you can do it on many items here. It's basically a callback structure. So in the render here, what we're going to do is the following. We're going to create or get the argument. So we say here args as a parameter, and then we will say here the arrow function indicate that we're going to make a function and then in here we want to return and the return here i'm going to use uh, object literals or template literals sorry which means i'm going to use back ticks so back ticks is above or well, just below the escape button uh, or escape key key button so in here back tick back tick and then we're going to just say here dollar sign because we are, are, well, let's see, what do we want to have? Let's look at it. We have here this Monday. We could do this all together, Monday, call it 18, or we could say Monday, 18, earning would be $18, for example. So let's do something like that. So we're going to grab here, first of all, the args, which is the argument, and then we say here dot. And here, basically, we can do here a few items. Remember, we have the labels, so we're going to grab here the label as the argument, and then we can say here, before we even do this, I need to do this, of course, the dollar sign, and then I need to do these parentheses, because this is a variable. Space, or sorry, no space, but colon, and space, because now we're going to just uh, have strings values. It will recognize these strings values, and I put in here a dollar sign, and the reason I'm going to put here a dollar sign is I want to indicate that the value would be here $18. Let's say our sales or our cost is $18 here, so a dollar sign and then a space, and then we're going to make another variable. And the variable is exactly the same here with this. And then here parentheses, and then we can say here arcs, but then our arcs here is value. The moment we do this, we can save this, semicolon here, make sure you have a comma here, or else it's gonna work, of course. So refresh, and now you can see here we get Monday, $18. There we are. What we could do as well is we can just Remove this, put it down together, refresh, and you can see here it will understand it is still $18. It wouldn't misread the structure here or misread it because it understands it because of these uh, template literals. So with this, you could do like that, but you could also do an if statement, let's say different colors, etc., etc. We could do all kind of items with that. 